How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel Tech with KG. Today we're going to talk about motion interpolation in gaming and we're going to go in depth on Samsung Game Motion Plus and talk about why I actually like this feature more than almost any other gaming feature available on TVs. And I really do hope it comes to other TVs because this is just something that is beneficial to all gamers. And if you haven't tried it out yet, hopefully this video will demonstrate how great it actually can be. So I will be showing how Game Motion Plus works. I'll show you the difference between it being off and on, but also I'll show you how to set it up. So if you own a Samsung TV, this is going to be a good video for you to watch. Also, if you're in the market for buying a TV, this is going to be a good video for you to watch, especially if you're somebody who owns a Nintendo Switch console and you're limited to some of these 30 frames per second games. Game Motion Plus can really, really help with this experience. All right, so now we're going to talk about motion interpolation before we dive into the Samsung Game Motion Plus portion. And if you want to skip ahead to the Game Motion Plus just to see how to set it up for your own Samsung TV and you don't want to hear this next part, then you can skip ahead to that with the timestamps in the description. All right, so motion interpolation or motion smoothing, it's what the experts usually tell you to turn off as soon as you get your TV. And when it comes to movies and TV shows, it's hard to argue with that because most of the time, people will find this effect to be pretty annoying, to be honest with you. And that's because your eyes aren't really used to this type of motion. And when you see it in TV shows and movies, it makes it feel like an old soap opera that was filmed with a video camera and not a film camera. So these are going to be the biggest differences that you're seeing with TV shows and movies. It's going to throw you off. And it's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like high frame rate content. They're just not used to it or it's just not natural to them. And here's something that some people do enjoy this content. So I recognize that and I want to make sure you know that if you like it, go ahead and use it. I'm not saying don't. I'm just saying a lot of people avoid motion interpolation usually. And it's one of the reasons probably why they don't even think about it in gaming. But here's the thing. It's a little bit different when we're talking about gaming because we're used to high frame rate experiences with games. It's not unnatural and it's actually really enjoyable. I haven't really met one person that said they don't like 60 frames per second games. Have you? Honestly, I really think that when it comes down to gaming and motion interpolation, it's something that we need to see on more TVs. I know what you're thinking, but KG, there's already motion smoothing for gaming on all TVs. You just got to get out of game mode. Well, good luck with that one because then you're going to be running at about 135 milliseconds input lag and that's not fun. Uh, so anybody telling you to go ahead and do that and try that out, try it. And I guarantee you, you're probably going to hate it because it's not responsive and you're going to have a bad time with the games that you're playing unless you're like really moving slow. I don't recommend it at all. Here's the thing though. When you have Game Motion Plus enabled, you are now down to 20 to 25 milliseconds. Not a problem at all. There's not even a noticeable difference between it off and on when it comes to how it feels, when it comes to the responsiveness of the controllers to the TV. It's just great. This is something that needs to come to all TVs. Could you imagine this on a Sony TV? You know, they need more gaming features on Sony TVs and they do motion really well. So I would love to see something like this come to Sony TVs. That's sort of like a dream of mine, to be honest with you. And hopefully it does happen in the future. That would be crazy. Anyway, let's talk about why you would want this in your games. Well, let's take the Nintendo Switch, for example. What I'm playing on screen here is Pokemon Legends Arceus. You can see that, yeah, 30 frames per second is kind of choppy. It's not a smooth experience at all. But we turn on Game Motion Plus and all of a sudden that smooths out a little bit. It's not perfect. It's not a perfect 60 frames per second. It's not like as if the game was native 60 frames per second, but it's good. It's smooth. It feels great. And it's even responsive. And the biggest issue that you'll ever run into with this is going to be the motion artifacts. And even when you see those, it's not that jarring because we're used to some artifacts in games from time to time. So in this example, take a look at the water here and also look at the waterfall. And I want you to look at how choppy it is when we have Game Motion Plus off. I'm going to go ahead and turn on Game Motion Plus and you can see now that it is smoother. It looks like a more 60 frames per second experience. It's not perfect. Like I said, it's not going to replace native 60 frames per second, but it will save some of those 30 frames per second choppy games for you. I promise you that. 
And like, look at this example here running through the snow. You can see that the snow is falling. It looks choppy. And then all of a sudden I turn on Game Motion Plus here. It's a lot better. So yeah, you could definitely see the results for yourself in this video and why I use it personally. I use it a lot with some of these 30 frames per second games on the Nintendo Switch. And also there's a lot of games on the Xbox 360 and Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3. I don't care how far you go back. It's going to give you a smoother experience with those games. And who doesn't like going back and playing older games that are 30 frames per second locked and then having a smoother experience on top of that? All right, so how do you set up Game Motion Plus on your Samsung TV? Well, here's how you do it. Those of you with a 2021 or newer TV, you can hold the play button on your remote to pull up the Samsung game bar. Once you do that, you scroll over to where it says game settings, and then you can see the game motion plus options are available to you. Once you set these settings to your liking, you can switch in and out of game motion plus by going to the game bar, changing the input lag toggle from fast to fastest. If it's on fast, that means game motion plus is on. If it's on fastest, that means game motion plus is turned off. For those of you that have a Samsung 2020 TV or older, you're going to have to go through the system settings and find the game mode options. Under here, you'll find Game Motion Plus. Then you can use these same settings that I'm going to give you right here, which apply to every Samsung TV that has access to Game Motion Plus. If you find that Game Motion Plus is grayed out, chances are you might be in 120 hertz output from your console. You're going to need to be in 60 hertz output for this to work. Also, you can't have VRR engaged that will also gray out Game Motion Plus. So you turn off VRR and make sure you are in 60 hertz output in order for this to work. In the Game Motion Plus settings, you wanna to go to Blur 0 and Judder at 10 for 30 frames per second games that you're playing. This will essentially make it feel like a higher frame rate experience for those 30 frames per second games. Now, when you're playing a 60 frames per second game. If you want to give that an even higher frame rate look, then you can use Blur 10 and Judder at zero, and that will essentially bump up the frame rate and make it look like it is higher frame rate. Again, it's not perfect. It's not going to replace your 120 frames per second native experience or your 60 frames per second native experience if you're playing a 30 frames per second game, but it can actually give you a smoother experience overall, which in my opinion leads to a better gameplay experience overall. All right, so how do you know what to set your settings at for Game Motion Plus? Well, first you gotta check out what game you're playing and what the frame rate is. The best way to do that is just to do a simple search online and type in what frame rate is this game. You put the title of the game there and then you probably have your answer. If you have any further questions on Game Motion Plus, please don't hesitate to ask. So let me know what you think. Do you like Game Motion Plus or motion interpolation in gaming? Do you think it's a good idea? Is this something you wanna see in future TVs? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for future content just like this. And if you like this video, I have two other videos that you might enjoy right here. Check it out.